how is it going guys so today i got me a, a new tool here um this is a burns matic if you can see that it's very very clearly labeled everywhere uh blowtorch went to home depot i needed a blowtorch i need a blowtorch to a light my forge a lot quicker um heat treat material uh heat up specific parts of metal so let's say i only need to heat up a rivet i don't need to you know, light the whole forge it's a waste of fuel because i'm only going to heat the metal up one time or i need to light up a very specific part of the metal you get the the idea went to home depot brought 25 bucks along and they had a blowtorch for 17 dollars and then propane for four dollars a can um but the blowtorch was only rated to like you know use for lighting grills and even like cooking and things it wasn't a very heavy duty one so i had to spend 47 dollars well, my dad had a veterans discount so i got 42 dollars i think 40 dollars something like that on this blowtorch so um let's go ahead and read it here uh instant ignition inverted use flame lock some obvious uh some stuff it's got um what was it map I don't know. Yeah, Map Pro Fuel, not propane, which is like a lot more expensive because he's got a full canister in there. And then the torch. Um, I'm gonna show you side. Got a lot of warning labels. Of course, the camera's gotta fall down. I'm probably not gonna end up lighting this thing today. Ah, oh, hang on. This camera's actually in my vice, so I got it. I'm probably not gonna end up lighting this thing on camera though. Because it's a blowtorch and I'm inside a enclosed space and carbon monoxide poisoning and uh, just general safety precautions. I probably won't. Oh, will the camera just freaking sit? Thank you. So, <laughs> yes, I just said thank you to my camera. I'm perfectly normal. So you can see the back. See all of it. See the sides. Lifetime warranty. Um, This is a TS-4000. Looked heavy duty, sounded heavy duty, seemed heavy duty. Let's give this thing an open. Whatever the freak it wants to open. I'm very lost. Oh, I think it just peeled in the back. Oh yeah, I went ahead and got out the knife and it didn't even need it. It just peels out the back. Start off with the fuel canister. Uh, this is a you know, standard fuel canister. Map Pro, which I don't precisely know what map pro is i'd imagine it's a mix between propane and something else but yeah extremely flammable explosive you know the drill it's under pressure but burns a matic fuel just cut my pinky uh or my ring finger sorry of course it's got some instructions and whatnot but who needs those and the torch itself. Anything else? Anything else? Any more instructions? Anything else? So, where the okay, I can get. That. Um, let's just take a closer look. So you can see the connection port. Um, I'm assuming that's just threaded on there. Yeah, it's threaded on. I won't do it right now, but you can see the whole, you just pop it right in there. Um, again, the reason I'm not doing it is because it's in an enclosed space, so always be careful with your blow torches. Uh, carbon monoxide, poisoning is a thing, don't use them in, in enclosed spaces. But the fuel canister, that's besides the point. So you can go ahead and see inside. You actually probably can't, because um, it's very, very dark over here for whatever reason. But yeah, it's got like spirals on the inside um, that should, in theory, allow it to have a spiral flame. Um, air pockets, of course, because fire needs oxygen. Um, the ignite button, ignition button, and it's got a lock. So, uh, however works i'm a little bit confused as to how you release more airflow though 
Do we do need the instructions? They have all different kinds of models, by the way. All different prices as well. That's Spanish. I do not care for Spanish. Okay. Cutting, light welding, heavy cutting, medium heavy welding. Work only in well ventilated areas. My forge is outside, so that's... Okay. Tipping the gas cylinder more than 60, 60 degrees from its upright. That's a caution. That's a no-no. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, that doesn't include a flame adjustment knob. Never look into the burner tube um, or point in an unsafe direction. Turn ignition button to unlock the position. Point the torch in a safe direction. Pull the ignition button towards you. Keep repeating if necessary the ignition button to press. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. So I don't think you actually can adjust the flame on it. Or maybe you can, and maybe I'm just being stupid. Um, but there's no adjustment port on this thing, and nothing twists, to my knowledge. But... There is a screw there that I think holds everything together. Maybe that somehow adjusts it. I, I don't really know, and I don't really care. Uh, this is not a well-ventilated area at all. But I am a little bit excited. I do want to try it, but, you know, I probably shouldn't. So, I guess maybe tomorrow I'll film another video on this and, uh, you know, talk about it a little bit more in detail. And while it's light outside, now I can actually light it and maybe light my forge with it. Maybe not. Who knows? It, we're supposed to get like two inches of snow tomorrow, which is ridiculous. Um, because you know, we never get snow ever. So to get two inches out of nowhere, like right after Christmas, right when I get some material and things and get a new, you know, some new equipment and whatnot, I'm excited to use it and the like weeks following are just going to be rainy and depressing because that's living on the east coast for you so this is the whole kit unnecessarily long video but you know just thought i'd make one